I think there's a big issue in gaming with skins. Um, and, th and this goes across a multitude of different games. Uh, because this could be shooters, this could be like MOBAs, I, where they're like mainly I'm going to be talking about. Like that's where my knowledge is the most. And I'm talking about CSGO, Call of Duty, Valorant, you know, um, even, even games like Gears of War, uh, League of Legends, Smite, Dota. Overall, there's an issue with the consumers and, and the gamers in general. I, th I think the gamers have no backbone. And not even the gamers have no backbone. I don't just think it. I feel it. The gamers don't have a fucking backbone. And it's crazy when you compare it. I think in their isolated situations, it's really easy to say like, oh, what's the big problem with that? Like people still enjoy it. Like it's totally fine. Right. But I guess like my mindset is that it could always be better. And if you set out to consumers like this big plate of shit and they eat it, your initial reaction is it's totally fine. Like these people will eat shit. Okay, and and that's what I'm like upset about, I guess, because I love skins and I think growing up not buying a lot of cosmetics when I did have my own money to spend, it felt like such a treat. Like it felt like such a really like special thing to me because I was like, this isn't just a character that I'm playing like this is my character. This is the way that my character looks. And I think maybe in my head, I've romanticized it a little bit too much because I like the individualism. I like the uniqueness of it. And I like the idea that like I could have my own flair on things. And so customization in games in general is something that means a lot to me. And so, so what's my issue, right? Um, I, I want to talk about a popular one and uh, that's Valorant, right? Do I think all of the Valorant skins suck? No. Do I think a lot of them suck? Eh. You know, they're 50-50, to be honest. And, and I think in terms of liking it, it's based on taste. I'm not the end-all be-all when it comes to skins. So what's my issue? It's the idea of customization that's lost within it, right? And, and the outrageous price sometimes. They put crazy numbers on the game. And I get it. Oh, it's a free game. Like, they can do whatever they want. No. like. While yes, it is a free game, and I understand that that's one of the ways that they monetize the game. If that's the main focal point of monetization, then the consumer or the gamers should have a bigger say on what they like and what they don't like. Like that is where you need to be nitpicky because that's where most of the money is, right? And as a consumer, you have the most power where you're spending your money. So you're allowed to complain. I don't give a fuck if it's a free game. OK, you're allowed to complain, first of all, first and foremost, because I hate I hate hearing the people who are like, it's a free game. So so you can't complain that the game is bad. You can't complain that, you know, no, I'm putting my. I'm putting my money and I'm putting my time into games that I like. So if there's shit about it that I don't like, I have the freedom to say I don't like this and I want this to change. Right. And again, it's not like, oh, I don't like a balance or I don't like whatever. And so the game has to change. Or otherwise, I'm not playing your stupid game because it's like, OK, see you later. It's a, that's like the same argument of like, uh, well, you just lost your business here, sir. Like, I, I get it. Like, that's not what I'm saying. Right. Because usually if somebody says like, oh, well, you just lost my business. You're like, all right, like, fuck off, loser. Who cares? Like, you're not you're not funding this whole like corporation or, or business or whatever, like single handedly. Um, Unless you are, then it does matter. But usually that's not the case. I think the issue is that it could be better, right? Like that, that's my main focus is that it could be better. And, and so understanding that, A, I'm allowed to talk about it because I'm putting my time, I'm putting my money, money into it. So I want them to hear the criticism. Crit I want them to hear the criticism because I want it to be better, right? Like you do things out of, it, it's not, I fucking hate the developers. I hate the game. It's, I like the game. I like the developers. I want it to be better though. And I know they're capable of it being better, right? Culprit number one, Valorant. Okay. Some of the skins are cool. They're, you know, little fairies running around, 
you know some some cool little special effects on the side you know some of them you get like fancy fucking explosions crazy shit that happens right after you kill somebody like that's totally cool. so my issue with it is the lack of customization right fine you could put a, your your special little charm but even then you're so limited to charms because it's either a charm that comes within the bundle or some shitty charm that you find and because you're so limited in the color choice you actually are also limited in you know like in style at least in my opinion so like number one is how hard is it to get more colors right first and foremost how hard is it to get more colors than two or three right i get the scarcity right and i, and I also get the idea of like oh well you know they made it to be this way so why would they put all this effort for a bunch of colors that nobody's going to use right because people only use a few colors anyway right but it's just the option it's just the the like being able to do it even if somebody thinks it's an ugly color or most people think it's an ugly color i guarantee you somebody's going to use whatever colors you throw in there if you're allowing them to the other thing is you have all of these cool elements right like the bullets will look different the gun will shoot and sound different and then also those end animations and it's they're all stuck they're all stuck with that gun and i hate that okay that that's the biggest frustration three skins there shouldn't be a, a fucking hot take um reskins should be free i don't care what anybody says and this is this is specifically for overwatch actually reskins should be fucking free you're telling me nothing fucking change changes about the fucking skin except for the color and you want me to to pay more in-game currency or whatever like eat shit reskins should like they should just be together i don't want 17 different things because then you're like artificially making it look like look this character has so many skins and all you did is change the fucking hex code eat shit fuck you that's that's not okay you put one skin there and then you have the option choosing one two three four five six, whatever how, however many skins there's no reason i should have to scroll past 30 fucking skins that all look this game all look the same dude i can't even fucking speak it is just crazy to me back to valorant it is just crazy to me that you're spending a hundred fucking dollars worth think about what you could do with a hundred fucking dollars you could buy a fucking better game that's what you could do for one bundle of skin, right? Which is like a few skins, maybe a knife, maybe a banner, maybe a charm. And you can't do anything with the extra little bits that you have, right? Because not only do you have to use little bullshit points that you earn elsewhere to, to even upgrade them to make them look cooler. Or you, or obviously, again, you spend money to, to do the custom effects that come with it. You might be spending money for the bundle and then money for the, the extra little custom effects. And then you can't move them. You can't can't change the way a gun sounds in a different uh gun you can't change the way the bullet looks in a different gun you can't change the the final kill death effect for for a different gun and it's like well they're thematic well blah 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 listen if a samurai comes out and chops somebody's head off after i shoot and kill them then i want a samurai to come out every single time my fucking microphone picks up a fart that goes into my chair like, I don't care. I spend a hundred fucking dollars so I can get this fucking effect. I want, I want it to happen not just with this gun. You know, I want the sound of the gun because some of the sounds are so clean, okay? I'll admit, some of the sounds of the guns are so nice. And I'm like, I would love if the sound of this gun was on the look of this other gun. And you can't do that. You just spend a hundred dollars and you're stuck with something that like, again, you're, you're so limited to colors most of the time. You're so limited with the way that it sounds and you're so limited with the, uh, the, the end effects. And I think that's just lame. I'm not a game developer, right? So, so I'll actually admit, I don't know how difficult that is to do and, and how difficult that is to change and revamp so that, all the skins can technically all have all the sounds and all the looks and all the colors, whatever. Rolling that back, you you run into the idea that like, oh well, I paid a bunch of money to to make my skin have the extra effect, so I want a refund, right? So you run into issues like that when rolling back or changing. So I guarantee Valorant will never have something as cool as that. Like they're too they're too lame to ever put in good, interesting customization to that extent. 
Like, I don't believe that will ever happen. So this is just a dream. And I guarantee it will forever be a dream. Um, and th and that's also just because the losers who play Valorant, me included, because I'm a, I play Valorant, right? You, you can clearly see that on my on my YouTube, Twitch, TikTok. Um, but all the losers who play Valorant and spend money are are just gonna be fine with spending it with like the little customization that they have. Like they're cool with it, and that's totally fine. I only bring this up because it's possible. Um, and, and so now I want to take it to to some customization that I actually do like. Um, and customization that i do like uh we'll see how lazy i am with editing and shit and like video like adding in videos but dota 2 right I i'm gonna i'm gonna meet ride valve a little bit but dota 2 has some of the best customization for characters right i get that it can be annoying for developers to have to make the separate pieces and, and whatever Again, I'm not a game developer, so I don't know how difficult this is, but I love what they do in Dota 2, where it actually solves an issue uh, that I'll talk about later too, with the way that, that it's set up. The sets, right? They're, they're sold in sets. The, the customization items are sold in sets. So you get this thematic set and it's like, oh, look, your character now has like a fucking Bushido outfit and they look cool like a samurai. But then you could take the helmet or the sword or the boots or the greaves or whatever like items that your character uses because again like in dota they ha each have different weapons and you know sometimes they're one-handed sometimes they're two-handed right so they each get their own unique customization and then you also get to change them obviously the colors uh like for the most part i know like some newer sets are changing that um but like usually colors are limited to like the character's lore and whatever uh and, and like their specific style and specific look so i mean again that th that right there is an opportunity for dota to improve but the idea that i can get five different sets and say i like the helmet i like the sword i like the shoulders i like the greaves of that one and i can mash them all together and i have like such a unique and like just like this is me like this is my character right on top of that the other thing that i like is that some of the items in dota are like a certain rarity where they change the ability effects i fucking love that okay i know they have arcanas which change like all of the the things whatever but i love the idea that like the skills of the character change they look different or they you know like they have a different color to them where they have a you know like a, a different style but again it's still the same ability does the same thing it like for the most part i know there's a few that you can argue give a bit of a competitive advantage because sometimes it's clearer to see the the radius or whatever but for the most part it doesn't really give you much of a competitive advantage and if anything it's just swag point and something that they recently, like, I don't know how recent it was, but I know the last time I, I was on Dota, because I don't play it too much anymore, um, you could turn on and turn off or, or decide to change the effects on certain items. So you can say, oh, here are my abilities, and here's the effect of the ability that I want to use. And actually, no, I don't want to use the fancy little effect on this new item that I got. I want to use the original effect. I want it to look normal, but I just like the, the way that my, you know, set looks. like that is great customization like that is amazing the other thing that they added was the like um i forgot the name of it it's like the different styles like you like an avatar or something um i'll, I'll find it and when i'm fucking editing the shit but uh and it changes so like one of the characters is like an adult and then it changes to a kid version of him and then you could have kid version um sets as well and I think that solves a problem that I initially um, was unsure of uh, when it came to like collaborations. Because like Smite, for example, did collaborations with Avatar: The Last Airbender. So it's like, well, what happens when my, I want my character to look like Zuko, but I want like you know some of the other set items? And it's like, well, maybe again, this might be extra work, but like you can add or the ability to like maybe change the weapons like certain aspects maybe not adding a helmet over zuko and you have to change all the helmets to make it look like zuko you know what i'm saying but like the idea of like 
being able to change a few items. So yeah, he he's Prince Zuko, but now you get different swords besides the two original. You know, it's like flashy fancy sword from like another skin than you know his normal like uh two swords that he gets with the skin. So like the whatever the name of that thing is that uh Dota has allows you so that even collaborations work with the like item system that uh, that I'm so like that I'm praising so much. Like that's that that does solve the issue of like collaborations because now you can have fucking Shrek and he can just carry you know the character same items but you know it's just in that different like avatar. There's ways to improve skins. And I'm only ranting because I always tell my friends like I, I refuse to buy certain skins because I hate the way that they are and I want that customization. I want that extra layer of customization. Um that's basically it. You know, I, I just need to get it off my chest to be honest. They fumble so bad, like so many game companies fumble so bad because I know I would and other people so much more willing to buy skins and put money into games if they had better customization op- options and most games not like it's really easy to make like a five dollar per something small like that and for games like valorant i i find it the more that i play and the more that i'm in the environment and, and again this could be like oh well you're just broke like you just say you don't have money just say so you don't got bands fine like i'm broke but it it doesn't change the fact that you're kind of a loser for spending a hundred dollars on something that you have such limited customization. They literally throw shit in your face and it's like, well, this is the best that I'm going to get for a while. So I'm just going to fucking eat it up. I'm num num. And it's like, they could do so many cool shit and you're just sitting there and just taking it. So like, but that's fine. Like whatever, whatever I'm broke, I can't afford to spend $700 on shitty ass skins. But like, you're the loser who's wasting their money on shit. That's all I'm saying. Uh, that's all I'm saying. They they even have two-handed weapons. And I guarantee they could have made it so that you could change what's in your right hand and what's in your left hand. Because you paid the $100 whatever you spent. You literally spent 100 bucks to have these two weapons. And it's like, okay, you, pay, you paid for the two weapon slots on your character. But, but you can't change this one. You can't change this one. It's kind of lame. It's a, it, all in all, it, it's just lame. And I think, I truly believe that there are a lot of people out there that have a million times better ideas or concepts that development teams can bring to life that they just don't. And I, at the end of the day, I think it's about feedback. Like, there's no place for people to, to express their grievances besides, like, online. But then the moment somebody brings it online, it's like, oh, you're just bitching, you're just complaining, or you're just broke. Let me know how you guys would. If you got to if you got to make like one character skin or one weapon skin or maybe one of each in one of your favorite games, how would you guys bring more customization to life? Or how would you guys make that so that you know people enjoy it the most? Maybe maybe I'm just a whiner, maybe I'm just a complainer, but but I truly believe like things could be better. But yeah, that's basically it. See you later.